Hello everyone, Glen Morano here, Gamertag SC Space Shadow TSI. Thank you so much for watching today. Today's video, we're playing Call of Duty Warzone. This is Call of Duty's foray into the Battle Royale type game type, which is a lot of fun. And I didn't think it was going to be any fun because I was not a big fan of Fortnite. I know, don't shoot me, kill, kill, calm down, everybody calm down, I know. I know it's a great game, but it's just something that's not for me. I felt it was too silly, but that's my opinion, not the fact of the matter but anyway me being new to the whole battle royale scene i didn't know what a lot of the terms meant so i was finding myself saying things like what did he say what did he mean uh what where are we going so in today's video i'm going to talk about the terms of battle royale or rather call of duty's war zone terms when you're playing with other teammates and what it means when they say we're going to push on that so let's get into the terms of Call of Duty Warzone. Also, stay tuned to the very end to find out how you can enter our contest to win a brand new Turtle Beach gaming headset. Let's get to it. The first term that I want to speak about is called broken or cracked. Cracked actually means something else in other Battle Royale games, but in this game, it means cracked their armor or broken their armor, which means that all they have left or your enemy has left is their health. So as you're fighting with another enemy team, etc., you say, I cracked his armor. That means, or rather tells the rest of your team, that particular guy is ready to be knocked or put down. Speaking of health and armor, knocked or downed means that you've depleted their armor and their health, and now they're down, able to be resurrected by one of their teams. So when you're shooting someone and they go down, you'll see a little thing says downed on your right side in yellow letters. You yell to your team, I downed him. I knocked him. That's what that means and tells your team that there's a guy that's incapacitated and cannot fight back. However, one of their teammates can resurrect them. Speaking of resurrections, there's two types of resurrections. We're talking about the one once you're downed and one of your teammate comes to heal you to bring you back up. You'll have your health, but not your armor. So when somebody says res or come res me, that's what that means. That means you're down and you need help and you need somebody to come and give you the medical shot that's in Call of Duty Warzone to bring you back into the action. Keep an eye on your plates because you'll have to replace them once you're rezzed. Plating up is another term that you need to know. When your teammate reminds you to plate up, hey, don't forget to plate up, plate up, that means to add armor plates into your chest cavity there so that you're protected. You you're allowed three armor plates in that particular chest pouch so that it's there to protect you, and that's what they mean by plate up. So definitely plate up after a battle. If not, they'll remind you. Another term that you may hear in Call of Duty when you're playing with your teammates is that he's one shot, he's one shot. That means that their armor plates have been depleted, their health is to the point where they're only one or two shots away from being knocked or downed. So make sure that you focus on the guy that is one shot, one shot, if the strategy calls for it. This is some hot action, so you're going to have to make some quick decisions. But taking a man out of a four-man team makes your team a four versus three rather than a four versus four. Another term that seems to be prevalent throughout the Battle Royale games is thirsting or thirsted. What that means is that the person kills the knocked or down player at the expense of the battle, for example. So you're battling a four versus four. One of the enemy is knocked or downed, and you go and kill them without trying to sort of incapacitate or knock or down the rest of the team, which puts your team at great risk, yourself at great risk. It comes from like saying bloodthirsty. He was bloodthirsty. He was thirsting for that kill rather than working with the team. When we're starting to talk about movements, there's a couple of terms that you need to know. The first is rotate. We're going to rotate to this area. We're going to rotate down this way or that way. Rotate can mean a lot of different things, but the basis of it is that you're just moving. You're moving in a sort of a defensive stance. So you're thinking about your surroundings, but you're not looking to attack a house, 
uh, an area, a team. So that's what rotating means. So we're going to rotate down to the farms or something like that. Speaking of movements, the other thing that you will hear from your teammates in Call of Duty Warzone would be something like, we're going to push that house or we're going to push that team. Pushing means that you're going to attack the house, attack the area, or attack the team. So when you'll hear your teammates say, okay, let's push on that house there. Let's push them down, meaning that you want to sort of push them back and start attacking them so that they're sort of moving back. I think that's what sort of pushing means. They're pushing them to another area, pushing them to retreat or something like that. But pushing means that you're ready to start attacking. When you're inside of a house, another term is called peeking or peek. Peeking is putting yourself or taking yourself out of cover so you can take a look and assess the situation. Taking a look outside the door, looking out a window, peeking out a door, peeking out a window. Hey guys, I'm going to peek this real quick. Give me a sec. Those are one of the other terms. You must be aware of that because maybe your teammate might start to get shot because of that. So be aware of what peeking means and how to peek appropriately. The this part of the term this term here called loadout is really not part of the movement attacking or team dynamic, but you really should know what it means. Loadout means that when you go to a buy station or on occasion it'll drop for free is when you can get your loadout or the edited loadouts that you have already set that will allow you to get your perks and your guns that you specifically want are unlocked. So it's really important to know what let's get a loadout means. And then you'll go to the buy station and it costs $10,000 to get the loadout. One person only needs to buy it. The rest of you can pick up your weapons from that loadout. But when somebody says, hey, I think we should get a loadout, that's what it means. Go to the buy station, go down to the bottom, look for loadout, and then drop your smoke grenade so the loadout comes and drops and everybody can get their weapons. And those are the basic terms that you need to know for Call of Duty Warzone. Knowing these terms is going to certainly help your gameplay. Your teammates will certainly appreciate the better communication as they'll understand what you're talking about. And now you will understand what they're talking about. Thank you again for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you are new, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you always know when I drop any one of my videos. Check us out on the Shadow Corporation on Facebook. That is our gaming creator page. Also a great video video game discussion group called the Shadow Corporation that is connected. Join that discussion group and also follow the Shadow Corporation's gaming creator page to be entered into our Turtle Beach gaming headset giveaway. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.